No Nordling. I'm the looking cheese. for men from Hundvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tartarok? He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrate fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind dying, dire. By doom time, pine pine time. <laughs> Yalvar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I. You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zarakinian princess. Brave lad comes along, you sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pull Lars in the water and scratch me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick, the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. <laughs> uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents. Because they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. Do we have a place to go? Yes, the Lord of Undivik. That's the name of the, the, uh, name of the island. Explore the ruins of Uskar and search for signs of Yalmar's presence using your Witcher's senses. So, ooh. So that means... Well, that means an adventure. That's what it means. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we have some broken boats around here. Uh, and, uh... This is probably not where we need to look for things. I want to go to the east, uh, from, or yeah, to the west from here, because there was something over there, over there around these guys, and uh, a huge whale skeleton over here. Oh, we have a road over here. Looks like it. Nope. There's a road over. Oh, don't die, Geralt. Thank you. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Their dog is gone. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Scavengers got to this one. Hmm. Taken by surprise. But they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Search the perimeter. Yeah, what the hell is that? What is that? Wolves? No, it wasn't just a wolf. That thing that we heard was not just a wolf. It could be. Let's see what this is. I need Several to look at men this. dragged a boat north.
Two people came through here, separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. It's a wolf. Okay. Somebody left the camp before the attack? What do you mean? I need to follow these tracks, but first let me, let me... There's another one. Let's follow these. These are, I think, the survivors. So I need to save them. I hope. I want to follow the other thing as well, but... What is this? Yalmar's man. Bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. The boat is here. Hmm. Probably planned to repair it. Signs of a battle. Signs of a guy that was split in half by a tree trunk or a mast. They ran toward the caves. And footsteps the size of a giant. You see that over there? I can't. Is that it? Giant chased them. Hmm. <laughs> It's pretty big. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. He has claws? And he can't get in through this? Hmm. Definitely came through here. Yeah, but he was bleeding. Or they were bleeding. Okay. Cat time. Just oh, it's probably a splatter of blood. It's what Sliced it is. Sliced her up. Two men looks like. Okay. The rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. He almost lost a lot of men here. Yeah, he did. Stupid expedition. Doing Witcher's work. Clan Torda Rock Forge. There's things in here. Is he alive? Well, those are not. Giant's pantry. Recruited quite a few men. No Hjalmar here, though. Hmm. Gotta keep looking. Yalmar came through here. Had to. What was that? One of those. Okay. Oh. Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often. Well, I only see the new tracks. Hmm. So he took Yolmar. Right? He must have took, taken him. There are smaller footsteps, so yeah, that would make sense. I cannot see them in the in my Witcher senses, but yeah, he was bringing him through here. Well, here we are, dwarf ruins. Sirens. That's okay. Come down here. I can shoot you. He's here. Somebody's here. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's poisoned. He's not him, is he? Oh, I ne I'd never met this guy yet. <laughs> Thanks, White One. If not for you, that might have taken me much longer. And I need to see Leif. The bitches nearly ripped his innards out. And we two are all that's left of my crew. All right. You might not have heard. I'm Yalmar on Crate. 
And I'll never forget you helping me in a time of need. Geralt of Rivia. The Geralt of Rivia? Like in the ballad about the sorceress and the witcher. You're still alive. Looks like it. Right? Well, forgive me. Just thought that all happened long ago. My da used to tell me stories of your adventures. So, what are you doing on Unvik? Your crew, what happened to them? Ah, it all started with a storm. You see, then came the blasted sirens. I had a Hornwall horn to drive them off, but one night it just disappeared. Next morning, the giant ambushed us, crushed half my men, hurled Arvid against the rocks, tucked Viggy under his arm. Just four made it here, but I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventures. <laughs> Seems yep. more doomed than heroic to me. No. Yeah. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. Your father sent me. He needs you on Ardskellig. Impossible. Dad knows I'll not return till I kill the giant. Situation's changed. The fate of all Skellige will be decided on Ardskellig. They're getting ready to choose a new king. The fate of Skellig is being decided here. If I accomplish this deed, it'll mean the gods have chosen me to rule. The other claimants are already waiting at Kaer Trolda. Not all of them. Mm. Seems I must hurry then. Time to face the giant. Coming with? We should see to your friend. Right. His wounds need tending. He's dead. Not what I meant. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood, you know? He's dead. Trust me. This, it would not be a good ruler. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Take his blade. It's a good looking sword. Let's go. He's just a single giant? I suppose. And you're gonna kill the last giant. Can't believe I finally got the bastard. Yeah, he's pretty gotten mean. Him yet. <laughs> but who lived here? Did he basically the giant basically drove off everybody? Oh. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. Ard should work. Hopefully. Nope. Good old fingernail. Are you following me? Come on. Okay, time for another torch. Because he makes you look prettier. Okay, I can't go through here. Although I'm going to try the yard. He did break a few things, but... Getting oh colder. Gotta be close. What was that? Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. He's the guy. He stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Yep. Yeah. He was right. the one. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this, Uncrate. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now. Avoid snow. The sound of it crunching under your feet will awake the giant. Well, I can kill the giant. Well, seems like he just woke. He's pretty pissed. Okay. Axie doesn't work. 
Oh, oh boy. Is he gonna pull off now? He's not dead yet. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be dead. Viggy, poor bugger. Should have let him out. Don't blame yourself. Viggy wasn't exactly the predictable type. As soon as he was out, he could have run at the giant brandishing knot, but his fists and his prick. No telling what would have happened. Yeah. Fight might have not gone our way. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. <laughs> I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. See you later. So, we are going back to the castle. And we're going back to talk to Crack and tell him about things. Now, Yennefer is not here. My plan is to complete Yennefer's quest after this one. Hopefully... What are you talking to? Swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. axe. Are you serious? Why not? I'd like it. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krako wits. Geralt has grown his beard. I need to shave his beard. Follow me. Come. How's Did you come. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. These tapestries are pretty awesome. Oh, we have entertainment. I have as much right to it as you do. No, we don't. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Want your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilgards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! <laughs> Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Well, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres were near twins in that regard. Yeah, but she's a little bit... I don't know. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Well, the last time I tried some fisticuffs with these guys, I got losing up my jaws, not joints. What was last night? Oh, these guys? Do I need to talk to you guys? Man, these guys are, are ripped! Yalmar, can you? What? Seal shit! Holy crap! Take a look. That Still fucked him right feet. up. 
Most of them did quite a number on you. Where Fuck you this! They'd have trashed you too. Yeah, I know. Doubt it. That's so. Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Veiled Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Veiled Carls. Who are they? Ah, uh, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds, then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. They punch the deer to death. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf. Oh, I'm gonna die. Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. All at the same Fuck. time? Oh, come on. Tear him apart! You'll beg for death. Nope. There it is. Ah. I know. You had good. Hard. No, not really. Not hard at all, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. <laughs> well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. What was that smile, Geralt? Okay, so we're back down. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Yeah. I don't really know what to say. I said there were three guys that we could have helped, or there were three contenders that I remembered. There's more, but there were three in particular that had quests. And it's the one that she's supporting. Uh, her son, of course. Um, no. Her grandson. No, how the th I... Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bronze yeah, Svanrig. son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far yeah. as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Her son, yeah, it's true. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments they behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby a king by the grace of votes is no ruler but a debtor this must end we must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it <laughs> holy crap <laughs> she's so right I not gonna go with her for other reasons, but she is totally. I can't. I can't say she is wrong. In this situation, it's way easier to understand than it is in our current world. Um, that is, in my opinion, uh, the pro one of the problems with uh, modern day democracies is what she's saying over here. Of course, in this place, it isn't a democracy. Uh, it's more like an uh, an odyssey. No, not odyssey. What's the word? Uh, there's a word for like a group of people, uh, an elite that rule. Uh, everybody and that's what it is here even though it's a vote thing um, but what she says is totally accurate because yeah so the problem is she's trying to fix something that's broken with something that's even worse because yeah sure Bran was a good king but that doesn't mean his son ha is gonna be um, and uh, oligarchy that's the one thank you very much Cloud uh, the thing is in this case it is totally right they are debtors they well not necessarily all the time but they're trying to get support and by promising things to be done um so they're playing for the interests of those who are going to support them so it makes total sense what she's saying over here of course in modern day democracies that doesn't necessarily doesn't have to happen in this case it has to be like that uh but in 
in modern day democracies, it doesn't have to happen, but unfortunately it does happen, um, because, uh, of course, campaigns um, cost a lot of money, so to some extent it's still the same problem. But I'm still not going to support her because she's trying to fix it with um, monarchy, so no. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote'll turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're <laughs> as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skellige wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Yep. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... <laughs> That? Damn it! Yalmar's probably started another row. Sounds, Sounds like it. Yalmar. Let's go. Holy crap, what the hell's gonna happen? 